guys, so today I just kind of want to do a chatty get ready with me. I did dye my hair to address the big thing, <laughs> the big change. So it looks just like jet black on camera, but it's actually a deep brown mixed with a deep purple. So in the sunlight, it has this like awesome purple reflect. It will probably fade a lot. I haven't washed it yet since I dyed it, so it will probably lighten up. But God, I missed my dark hair so, so, so much. I feel like black hair was just like meant for me. But anyways, just to address that got that out of the way. But anyways, I kind of tell, I kind of want to do a more, I don't want to say basic, but I want to do more of an average sort of glam look because I was looking through my YouTube videos and I was like, I haven't done a, oh, babies. Benny hops up here and knocks down all this, all this stuff all the time. I was looking through my videos and I realized I've done a lot of like crazy looks lately, which you guys know that's what I love to do on my channel. I always love to sit down and do more unique looks for you guys just because I don't get to do that a lot in everyday life. So I take my channel as a time to really express my creativity. But today I want to express my creativity in more of an everyday glam but I want to do super bronzy as you guys can probably tell I have fake tan developing right now so I'm kind of thinking like into spring and summer and just do a really really glamorous bronzy look so that's what I have in mind we'll see how it turns out but I love how like on my channel when I'm doing something different it's like a kind of basic Instagram look <laughs> you know what I mean like stereotypical like Instagram beauty guru look you know what I mean does that make sense? You guys know what I mean. I'm doing a little something more average makeup wear, I guess, and not so crazy. So hopefully what you guys will find some use out of this look and enjoy it. Hope that makes sense. I feel like I was just rambling about stuff. Let's get going. So I'm going to start with eyes just because I am using a pigment and I don't want there to be any fallout. So let's zoom you in and start on eyes. Okay, so first thing I am going to do is just prime my eyes with my NYX HD concealer. This is... Oh, I hate when that happens. This is in the shade 04, which is a awesome shade for me when I have fake tan on. Oh, I don't have a wet sponge. I guess we're using brushes today, guys, which I've actually been using brushes a lot more lately. I go back and forth, but I really do like how some brushes apply makeup, so I'm not mad. So today you guys have been asking and I'm going to do a look with the Modern Neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics. I want to keep with, again, look really bronzy, really warm, and I am going to put like a glittery shade on my lid. So these are all mattes which I think will complement the glittery shade that I will be putting on my face. So let's get started. I think the first shade I'm going to take, let's take this kind of warm crease color right here. So I'm just gonna take, this is, it really reminds me a lot of like Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And we're just gonna buff that. Just in the crease as a transition color. Nothing super technical here. And I'm just building up this color a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my Morphe E22, and let's see, I think I'm going to take this warm brown right here. It really reminds me a lot of Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. These are so pigmented, and I'm just going to take that in a C shape from the inner corner into the crease, or outer corner, sorry, into the crease. And I'm just taking my time and just working this in. Okay, then I'm just going to take a touch of this real warm, like, kind of burnt orange shade. And I'm going to take it on a little bit fluffier of a brush. I'm just going to take it on that same first blending brush because I want to use a really fluffy brush. Just to add even more warmth. I'm, like, hardly going in with this. I just want to make it even warmer. Okay, then I think we're going to go in with the lid shade, and then I'll darken up the rest of the eye look. So I thought I was going to use a pigment, but I actually think, I think I'm going to use this Makeup Geek, um, what are you called? Or should I use this one? This one? Should I do more copper or more bronze? Oh, mm, 
this is the times when I wish you guys were here with me. Maybe I'll do both. I'll do this with a little bit of this on the center. Yeah. So, those shades that I am talking about, Flamethrower is the more red shade. So, I'm going to first, I just like applying these with my finger. So, I'm just going to first pop that all over the lid. And then, oh, no, I forgot to buy more of my Aqua Beauty Primer Mist from e.l.f. So I think I'm just, just going to wet my brush with my Urban Decay setting spray. Anything works for this. Water, any other setting spray. It kind of breaks my heart to use this setting spray for just doing this, but that's okay. And then the next Makeup Geek shade I'm going to go in with is this one in Legend, which is a little bit more bronzy. And I'm just going to pop that right on top. And just kind of combine them. Why is that? It's like not really doing anything. There we go. See so guys, honestly, the fingers are the best to use with Makeup Geek foiled shadows. And I don't care if I get messy because we're gonna clean it up anyways. Okay, I really like the color that gave. Oh my god, I look like a hot mess, though. Ooh, buddy. Then, there's not really a, like, deep brown in this Modern Neutrals palette. So I'm just going to hop to a different, a different one. I'm going to go in with Americano from Makeup Geek, which is just a deep brown. This is a Live and Breathe Beauty I'm Turning Pro eyeshadow brush. And just really work this in the outer corner but I'm kind of keeping it in the outer corner I'm not dragging it too far into the crease I'm really just keeping it on this outer vicinity I used to do these looks all the time where it was just like a super super dark um, outer corner so I'm kind of channeling my old makeup self so I'm really just kind of packing it down in that outer corner And then just kind of wiggling my brush to blend it into the crease. But I'm not like, <laughs> like just barely wiggle it into the crease. Then I'm gonna, gonna go in with my Morphe M433 and go back to the Modern Neutrals palette. Yeah. And I'm gonna take that same kind of Cocoa Bear shade that we used after the transition shade. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna use it to buff out that dark brown. So I would take this on my lower lash line, but we don't have face makeup on yet. So I'm just kind of blending out that outer corner. Okay, finishing touches. I'm gonna go in with black. I'm gonna take the black from the Kat Von D palette because it is my favorite black in the entire world. But you guys are free, feel free to use whatever black you love in your collection. And I'm just doing like the tiniest C ever. Like literally just taking it on the tip of this brush, which is the Morphe M507. And just barely deepen it up. Now I'm just going to dust out this fallout ridiculousness, which actually isn't fallout. My finger just missed and I got eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Okay, so as you guys can tell, my face does not match the rest of my body, and the only foundation I have that matches me with a fake tan is, oh my god, this is filthy. Ooh! This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I'm just going to mix it a little bit, just because it is so heavy, with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Sand. This is, like, this foundation is, like, darker than my normal skin tone like I got it to wear when I have fake tan on but it's still a little too light for when I have a fresh fake tan so I'm just gonna mix those on the back of my hand I just always like mixing this Milani foundation because honestly it's way too cakey for me by itself oh I got foundation under my nail I'm gonna use my Morphe M439 and just buff that in
So I'm just going to take that same, where did I put my foundation? What the? Hey. Oh, I need to put all my pale foundations away from now. Same concealer, the NYX HD concealer in the shade 4. This highlight a little bit. Then I'm going to take that same Morphe brush. I know Makeup Geek has a brush very similar. I don't buy from Morphe anymore just because I can't find anything concrete on their cruelty free stance. All the beauty bloggers that I trust that like do you know cruelty free blogging and reach out to brands, um, they haven't gotten anything back from them that's like can you prove that your suppliers are cruelty free and like all of that like the like more complex questions. Um, Morphe hasn't gotten back to them about that, which, you know, could be just sheer laziness, you know. Maybe Morphe just doesn't realize how important that is to cruelty-free consumers. Um, but it could also mean that they're not cruelty-free. So, I stopped purchasing from them, but obviously with things like, and I have given away, um, like my Morphe eyeshadow palettes, just because the only time I really used them was on my channel, and I don't really you know, want to use them on my channel anymore. But the thing with brushes is like, they last for so long, you know, and I don't have a ton of extra money to buy new brushes. So that's why I keep using the same brushes. So that's just, that's just my little two cents. Just so you guys know where I stand on Morphe's cruelty free stance, because I do get a lot of questions about that. I'm going to take a NYX HD powder in banana and just set this. This foundation is such a bomb, like, beat coverage, but honestly, you guys, it feels so heavy on my face, like, ugh, it always, always feels so heavy on my upper lip. Do you guys ever get that? Like, ew. Okay, and then I'm going to set my face with my Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Powder. Just so you guys know, if you don't follow my personal Instagram, this powder has flashback when you bake with it. I went out with my friends for, um, my best friend's birthday, <clears throat> and I did her makeup and my makeup. And I forgot my under eye setting powder, so to set both of our under eyes, I just used this with a damp sponge. And it was literally, like, white underneath both of our eyes when we took a picture in the club with flash photography. But everybody, everywhere else on our face, it, faces, it looked fine. So, just a forewarning, if you get this powder, if you're planning on using flash phot photography, do not bake with it. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. bronzer palette, and I'm going to combine these two shades, I think, but mostly this shade. This is probably my favorite shade from the palette, and this is just a Morphe, no, not Morphe, a BH Cosmetics brush. That's what I should do, is I should just buy a couple BH Cosmetics brush sets. The only thing is, is like, Morphe is, ooh, that's a little, that's a little ashy for, oh, because I went in with the wrong one! Shoot! Ooh, bronzer's looking a little muddy. Oh no, oh no. Okay, well I'm just gonna have to go in with a really warm bronzer. That's the thing about like Morphe is it's nice because they're affordable brushes and you can get those like kind of precision tools for like specific things. Like you know the M507 which is like a tiny perfect blending brush for precise blending. And in like sets like BH Cosmetics you don't really get that. You know, it's all very like basic brush sets so I know there's like I know like Sigma is cruelty free and I know there's like furless and stuff which I do have furless brushes and I love them I just need to find more affordable synthetic brushes you know and obviously you guys know I love elf and wet wild and all of that but you guys know what I mean oh my camera once again shut off and I was rambling so I didn't realize that it shut off but um that uh elf palette just like that e.l.f. bronzer palette just went a little too ashy, so I'm just trying to add some warmth with the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. And I'm saying it's really weird because you guys know I use that palette all the time. It's one of my favorite bronzer palettes, but maybe just like with the fake tan or maybe with this foundation, it just went a little, little weird. Then we're going bronzy and luminous goddess like today, so I'm going to use my Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso on just this little Wet n Wild blush brush. 
and I'm just gonna sweep it back and forth kind of up towards my temples oh no that's what blush I wanted to use shoot is it too late I wanted to break out this guy this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill champagne glow palette and I'm going to take what is it amaretto that one right there just because these are so pigmented I can pretty much only use them when I have fake tan on so I'm just gonna taking I'm kind of taking that in between luminoso and the bronzer and then for highlight I'm going to go ahead and use Prosecco Pop, which is this gold, which is another shade I cannot use unless I have fake tan on. So if you are naturally pale, I don't even think, can you get Prosecco Pop anymore? I don't think you can. If you don't have that, you could use Champagne Pop or any other like gold tone highlight. Midnight Sun from Makeup Geek is another one that's really, really similar to this. I just love this highlight so if you guys have it take a little of that down my nose no I'm just gonna go in a little bit more just a little bit more and take the makeup geek um, Kathleen lights trio I'm gonna take this light um, yellowy tone I think this is called sunlight but I think they're backwards on the on the packaging but the lighter one not the bronzy one and I'm just gonna pop that right at the very very top of my cheekbone and if you don't have Prosecco Pop, you could just use this shade. They're actually very similar. This one's just a little bit more intense. Um, I feel like I need to set my face down just because with how kind of powdery it got with the like bronzer problem and all that. So I'm just going to set it down with my D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. Okay, and then I'm going to go fill in my brows real quick and we'll be back to finish the eyes. Boom! brows are done now we just need to highlight the brow bone and finish the lower lash line so first I'm just going to highlight my brow brow bone real quick I'm going to take Mirage from Makeup Geek literally one of my top five favorite Makeup Geek shades ever it's so pigmented so gorgeous it's just like the perfect satin like yellow toned highlight shade like look at that it's insane definitely like I said one of my favorite top five makeup geek shades you need to own now I'm also gonna take that and mix it a little bit with actually I'm gonna take it on a smaller brush I'm gonna take a little bit of that and mix it with shimmer shimmer kind of make a little cocktail and pop that on the inner corner as well not doing anything too crazy but just a little little pop of something on in the inner corner and I do think I'm going to do winged liner just because I think with this eyeshadow shape, winged liner can really be complimentary. So I'm going to take my NYX matte liquid liner, the most like basic name for a matte liquid liner ever. And I'm just going to do a, a wing. We'll see if it turns out big or small. We'll see. Perfect. Honestly, you guys, like, day-to-day -day basis, I'm so bad at eyeliner. Like, when I do full eyeshadow looks, it is more okay because I feel like when you do full eyeshadow, the eyeliner can be, like, a little bit messy and you aren't going to notice. But when I just try to do, like, a natural makeup look with a winged liner, my winged liner is always so bad because I can never figure out, like... I'm not a certified makeup artist by any means. I just love makeup and have practiced it for years and years and years. But I still can't get how to apply my eyeliner in the right angle and the right curve to make it flattering on my eyes. So sometimes I just look like so wonky with my eyeliner. It's not fun, let me tell you. But practice makes perfect, so that's what I'm doing. It's practicing. Okay, lower lash line. I don't want to do something too, too smoky. You guys know I like to keep a dead girl glam on here, but I kind of want to keep it normal girl glam for this look. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go I'm gonna go back in with that same kind of Cocoa Bear-like shade. And I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics kind of fluffy detailer brush thing. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of this in the lower lash line. I'm going to go all the way across. I'm going to take an even smaller detail brush and take a darker brown, which, yeah, there's really no 
dark warm brown in this palette like there's like this brown but it's super super cool toned almost purpley um so again i'm just gonna switch up and go with my makeup geek americano eyeshadow any deep brown and i'm just gonna darken it on the outer corner of the eye so just this outer portion Okay, lashes, lashes! I'm gonna go ahead and break into a new pair of the Kiss Lashes in the Style Gala, but I think first I'm going to apply my lip color, which I want to keep it super simple and use a gloss that I don't think I've used on my channel before. I bought it forever ago, like over a year ago, and I only reach for it a handful of times. It is a super nice gloss, though. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in Undressed. Not going to line my lips or anything. I like keeping a little bit of foundation and powder on my lips just to kind of lighten them just because my lips can be a little bit pigmented. But this is just a beautiful, warm, kind of peachy nude. I think I've used it like once on my channel. Okay, now I'm going to go apply some fake lashes and some lower lash mascara and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this is the completed look. I call this my regular girl glam since we're so used to dead girl glam here on my channel. But I really, really like it, and I think this is so applicable to so many different people. And if you want to make it a little bit more dead girl glam, just add way more eyeshadow to your lower lash line and maybe switch it with a pale, like, cool tone nude lip and maybe draw back on the blush a little bit. Maybe add a cool tone contour. There you go, you got dead girl glam in this look, but I really, really like how this look turned out. If I don't do a lot of these sort of looks on my channel, just because I feel like you can find them through so many other channels, so I try to make the content on my channel a little bit more different, you know, because I feel like you could, like, you could literally search copper bronze smoky eye and probably a million and five results would come up so that's why I don't do them a lot but if you guys do want to see you know me do these sort of looks more often then just let me know and I'll try to incorporate them in with my dead girl glam my more colorful and my little bit more bolder look so I can have a nice balance but anyways this is the completed look I hope you guys liked it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video Bye!